draw away fight. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Mackenzie Dunn. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Amanda Eva. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here is the bona fide strawweight contender, Mackenzie Dunn, as we get this round underway. Comes in tonight on a winning streak as usual, and she has talked so much this week and in fight weeks past about this alignment with her new head coach, Jason Perillo, and everything that he has meant, not just to her striking game, but to her mental MMA acumen as well. Certainly, you know about her jiu-jitsu. That's her bread and butter. She's going to try to take this fight to the floor, but if it ends up being contested on the feet, she's not afraid, and Perillo deserves a lot of credit for that reality. gets caught by the inside leg. All right, so there it is early on in the fight, just as she told us she was going to be able to get the takedown at will. So far, so good. We'll see what she can do with it now on the ground. She was so sure of it, even though her opponent is so well-rounded. She knew that she held the advantage on the ground, and she was intent to get it there. She got it there very early. Dern's back in half guard, very comfortable here. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing. Right away passing. Trying to pass to get good ground and pound off. Massive shot from the top. She continues to go here because it's working. Do not change anything. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. It works. Come on. It Under works. two minutes to go in our first round. Oh, she's got her back. Ooh, she could get the submission here. Big ground and pound. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. You're trying to prevent the half guard, I would say. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard, throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. 45 seconds to go here in round one. He bosses in half guard. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Final seconds. Huh. Round two straight ahead. Stop. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Gets hit with a kick. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the she bottom She got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Dominant from the top position. 
Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. She's moving her head pretty good on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these shots. He bosses in half guard. Lands with the ground and pound. Well, she's staying busy, continuing to land ground strikes. There's another one. Arm triangle attempt fire here. Arm triangle. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. She's so smart, John. She maintained position over submission. That's rule number one. Well, she is in the grappling zone, as some would say. Really, everything she told us on Thursday is playing out in this fight thus far. Her confidence, her confidence was so weird to see on Thursday. The fact that she insisted that it would not take long for her to get this fight to the ground and that she would dominate the action, it was hard to believe. But she is really, she is implementing that game plan right now to perfection. Nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will leash you past the half guard. Great submission defense on display tonight. Oh, pretty good job there posturing up and landing with the ground and pound. She has been very efficient in this situation tonight. Very efficient and very accurate. Hats off to her. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. He bosses back in half guard. It's a beautiful job reversing the position there. Durham's back in full mount. Seconds winding down in round two. Print the shirts, ground and pound. She's got her back now, and the horn sounds on round two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready, fight. Ready. Go. Here we go. Now five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, a nice straight there by Hebas. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Good kick. <laughs> Tries the flying knees to no avail. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, she's establishing the jab. Takedown defense is there. Now she gains some separation. Heavy body kick lands. Well, that's one way to keep the jiu-jitsu fighter at bay. Keep popping her in the mouth. She's keeping her distance behind that beautiful jab. What a great way to stay safe from being forced to grapple. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Attempts the front kick there. Well, not sure if there's an injury or something, but here we are late in this fight, and she absolutely needs a finish or she's not going to win this fight. Well, she needs a finish. She's taking a beating. I mean, she's fatigued. She's exhausted. She sees a fighter that has gotten the best of her. I can understand the frustration, but she has to throw all that out the window and try to chase the finish. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. Great volume. And a beautiful combo lands up top. Nice front.
front kick. 90 seconds to go in the fight. His head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. She lands a huge leg kick. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, short uppercut in the clinch by Hebos. She gets in very close and gets to the single collar tie. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Hebos' eye is closing up. She gets to the single column. Oh, oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. I mean, how about that back and forth action throughout the final minute? What a fight as we go the full 15. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Mackenzie Dunn! All right, Buff, thank you very much. No surprise as she gets it done on all three judges' scorecards. Her jiu-jitsu is at such a high level. It's so fun to watch. Kind of makes me want to go back and put the gi on just a little bit. John, you don't. No, I'm not 